What's up guys? I uh, just wanted to do a little demo of uh, ZBrush on my brand new, uh, actually refurbished uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. Um, so far I am really satisfied. The uh, Wacom feel driver is very sensitive. It's just like uh, being in Photoshop. It's You can detect when you're pressing hard and detect when you're pressing lightly and uh, yeah, it's amazingly smooth, um, no real issues yet, um, it runs just like it would on a PC and no hiccups, and uh, yeah, it, it feels like a step up and uh, very happy so far. So for all of you guys out there thinking about uh, making the jump, I think it's definitely worth it. I think I'm going to get rid of my old uh, Wacom Graphire tablet and stick with this. Um, yeah, I haven't had much practice yet, but uh, this basic head shape, I started from a circle and was able to build it up using the, uh, the standard brush, and um, it didn't take me that long. And uh, yeah, it's... It's a lot of fun, very happy with it. So it's really great, you know, it's lightweight, it's about two pounds and uh, not such a huge fan of this uh, touch cover. Uh, I think I'm going to try to save up and get the type cover so you can actually feel the keys. Here you're just sort of hoping that it responds. Also the trackpad's not very big. Uh, I've opted to use my mouse and uh, it's great. Hopefully I can find a nice Bluetooth mouse and keyboard combo for cheap. Um, yeah, you definitely want to be able to press down different buttons like shift and alt button while you're using ZBrush, so that's important. And, uh, yeah. So overall, I definitely recommend it. I hope you decide to make the plunge and uh, purchase one. Uh, I was able to get it for 450 uh, refurbished on eBay through the uh, Microsoft Liquidation Company. All right. Uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.